Welcome to OM Report by André Alpa, your interview-focused podcast on topics from online marketing to internet startups. Okay. <laughs> so, today's OM Report with Aleda. Aleda, can you please introduce yourself? Well, I am Aleda Solis. Hi. Uh, I am natively from Nicaragua. I lived in Spain for seven years where I started to do SEO. I was previously a web developer. There I work in agencies, uh, in-house, uh, as a consultant uh, for other European and, and American agency too, so I have I may gather this experience in, in the SEO industry already and now I am working in Brussels uh, for Wuran as a head of digital strategy. Okay, so how did you make the jump over to the US? You, you started blogging at Moz and, and other blogs. How did you make that jump? It's kind of, it seems so mm -hmm. far away from Europe sometimes to, yes. to get, you know, a, a reach in the US. How do you, yes, what do you indeed. think of that? I, I remember, the one thing that I remember is that at one point I say, I'm going to start blogging in English in my own blog and, and, and also tweeting a little bit more in English because really... But did you switch like a hard switch from Spanish to I, English? I started to balance. Nowadays I tweet much more in English, I will say, than in Spanish. In, in Spanish is much more interaction and sharing like the really good stuff that I found. And then in English you're just showing the simple stuff and the good stuff you're showing all in <laughs> no, Spanish. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but the, the thing is, and, and, and this, this is real, um, unfortunately a lot of the posts uh, that are published in, in, in Spanish are just like copy or translations mm -hmm. of the ones that are in English but there are a few insightful, really unique, completely original type of content that really deserve that type of visibility so I try to push a lot to help us, you know... Mm -hmm. the, so, so does the Spanish better. community still like to read your tweets even though they're in English or do they, do they sometimes say, okay, well, that's much more work for me, it's not my native language, I'm not going to yeah. look at it anymore. The, the, there's something funny, uh, most of the SEOs in Spain, they understand English, they might not be able to be fluent like okay. this, but they understand English because at the end of the day, if you work on the web, with the web, it's, it's a must to be able to understand this type of things. So yes, they, they follow me and at some point I, I tweet in English and they answer in Spanish. Which so is fine for you. Yeah, yeah indeed, okay. indeed. Okay, and then you, when you started blogging in English, then you tried to, to blog elsewhere as well. Yes, I started on, on, on my own blog and then I, I remember it was two, three years ago uh, when I met Baz okay. and I asked him if I could, you know, start collaborating at the State of Search, it yes. was back then. So I started blogging for, for State of Search, uh, now State of Digital, but it was, actually it was a State of Search before Moss. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, when I when I think of you, I, I knew you from like kind of more very technical, complex issues that, that would be, you know, important in an enterprise SEO context, like mobile SEO topics, uh, like international SEO topics, which perfectly fit with which you being a, a, a tech, technical, having a technical background, mm -hmm. and now you switch to WooRank that is kind of focused on the local mom and pop shop. How does that work together? Is that, isn't that kind of, you know, in different worlds, and who's adapting to whom now? Indeed. Uh, well, I try to provide enterprise level solutions to a tool that is focused on, on, on you, you know, generic, much more generic, low level audience of web consultants that try to really dig and, and can and be able to sort out SEO without being really uh, experts okay. or specialists in the uh, uh, area. So, so is there like kind of like a certain drain because I mean they're not going to implement I don't know Ahrefs Lang Indeed. or, or REL Alternate for Indeed. mobile websites or they're not going to I don't know switch to responsive design so, how, so, so is there like kind of a loss of, of, of things that you used to do or is that no, am actually, I over I, 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 I love it though no, because you know I am in some sort of ways, I'm their in-house SEO too. You know, I'm yes. a head of digital strategy, so I do more than just SEO. Sure, sure, but sure. I, but I help them to really improve on ways that I did in the past with big companies. So that that is that is mm. very you know, and for me also, what attracted me a lot, and one of the reasons that I joined them is that they are able to reach so many people. To that so many people use their, their, their tool in some way or, or another. So to be able to focus on a product where I really understand mm -hmm. the audience and I can really predict or, or help them to, to build something scalable that is going to be really useful in the future, I, that is one of the, my main motivations really. Right. So, so the company language in, in Brussels will be English then? Well, uh, at the office we speak in, in English, I speak French, although, you know, because okay. there is this Flemish 
uh, French type of thing, and we have also Flemish and French people. At some point, you hear uh, a little bit of Flemish with the, among the Flemish people in the office. Other times, you hear French. Other time, English. Other other times, you hear Spanish because uh, one of the founders, okay. one of the founders, <laughs> speaks very well Spanish with me, and okay. he likes to speak Spanish <laughs> with me. And there's another Spanish called. It's crazy. It's multilingual. If you can say yes. Okay. Okay. So, how do you kind of the, the the kind of the shops that you target these days, but what they, or the the clients that you target with food rank? Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind usually when you when you design a product for them? I mean, you see because you are kind of in the in the edgy position uh, as a, as a speaker, obviously, and then you know kind of you always think ahead, mm -hmm. and then you kind of try to I don't know think ahead the the, the the interpretation of what's happening in the big picture for the local mm -hmm. for the local shops and small the local businesses, small businesses. Yes. Uh, well, so how are their needs different? Yeah, for example, it needs to be one of the well, the unique selling proposition really is that it needs to be simple. It really needs to be instant. It really needs to 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 be useful and insightful, but actionable in an actionable way. So they don't get lost. They don't have really that much time to dig out, right? So you can see that uh, actually, uh, Wuhan launched the responsive web design two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So it's one right now. If you enter to any of the reports, they are. They, you responsive. can, yeah, they are responsive, totally responsive and friendly to any uh, mobile device, and and that is one of few things we are ready also to launch and to uh, have much more different type of reapers that will provide insights in at other levels and in other ways to the to the audience. So it's. Uh, the the product is evolving and it will expand much more, okay. not only to provide uh, website targeted, specifically targeted to one website uh, type of reports, but much more than that. Okay. So when you, when you think of SEO for like these local mom and pop shops or, or local small mm -hmm. businesses, I think you know bringing the on-page knowledge and, and you know guiding them through on-page topics that seems doable yeah. but when I think about this topic and I'm not active in this topic because my clients are usually larger mm -hmm. enterprises I always have the problem of how to how to explain a local shop how to try to get go for a good link or anything that I could think of in a content marketing uh, context you know the, the things that I can think of they're so big they're, they're much too big for them mm -hmm. to swallow within a, in a single month you know and in fact for for a few of them for, for a few of these companies, it's not SEO is not the first answer. Mm -hmm. It might be it local, but totally local, purely local targeted uh, strategy. So you're just gonna optimize for Google Maps and so Indeed. on. Indeed, yeah. build your build your 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 page there, build your presence there, optimize it, uh, become like really uh, active on Foursquare, uh, create giveaways and coupons on Foursquare, get good reviews, and so the the idea with Wuhan too, and you will see is that it has. A model for local to uh, with, for mobile too because at the end of the day these are this this type of, of websites that mm -hmm. are not targeted to the main public to go and compete mm -hmm. but this very specific uh, type of companies little companies that need to earn the visibility as much as possible not only for from SEO really let's jump to a different topic I think we both like how, how would you describe to everybody the differences between SEO in the States and SEO over in Europe what, what, do you, what yeah. do you think are the biggest differences that, that you always try to highlight to your friends in the U.S.? Yes. Well, in the U.S., it's, I would say that it's much more lean building focused, really. I was, I was very impressed when I uh, started going to uh, events in the U.S. and then working uh, at Sears. Of course, Sears is very pre pretty well known for, for, for lean building, for, for doing great uh, lean building. So of course, maybe I am a little bit also biased because of that, because that was my, my main experience with a US agency. But yes, I mean, they are great marketers. I was really impressed to see their creativity, you know, this type of brainstorms and, and, and actions and tactics that they come up with to, to, to create links. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you think about it, for example, there are some type of tactics that are very doable because there are so many, let's say, high schools out there who have blogs out there and they are updating it all the time. I have tried to extrapolate and take that same type of tactic to, to Spain and it's not going to work because the landscape is totally different. So those are the, the challenging but at the, at the same time uh, really insightful and, and, and great things about international SEO because different markets behave differently, differently and, and, and their ecosystem is, is different. So because of that I think, because there are also a lot much more competition, I believe that the US market is much more targeted in, 
you know, building the popularity. In Spain, you, you can say that a lot of the SEOs have come from the web development, mm -hmm. uh, web design world, so they are much more technically focused, and also you don't require that much, that many links as in the English speaking market in, in order to rank. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, the, there are differences of course. How do, how do Spanish websites usually deal with the, with the traffic that they get from South America? Because it must be like a significant bunch. And what do they do with it? Do they Indeed. try to avoid it? Because I don't know. No, no, I mean, I, 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 uh, there are a lot of websites actually and, and web businesses in Spain that target uh, and I start le leveraging the, the, the the Latin American market because of that, because there's a huge opportunity. And the Latin American market is like, I don't know, four years behind uh, uh, Spain, you would say. So right now, you can see a lot, for example, a lot of conferences and a lot of events uh, and posts speaking about uh, community management, okay. social media, blogs. is the boom right now. What we <laughs> saw, yes, in 2007 here is crazy. Yes, indeed. So you can also predict a little bit how it will evolve. Happen. So I, I will say that this is the time really to be there because they, they, uh, for example, they have invited me for the first time to go to speak to, to South America in, right in June in, Ch in Chile because and I believe it's the first time <laughs> they are going to have like purely SEO focused type of, of, of uh, yeah. uh, session. So th that is great because it's, it's, it's going to go like really crazy from, from now. Yeah. Sounds amazing. All right. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for the opportunity. OM Report and Andre Alpa would like to thank you for your attention. You can get more episodes on www.omreport.com.